Hi, this is Eric Mark with Board Game Geek. I am here with Cedric Millet, designer of Meeple Circus from Matago, a game about meeple stacking, which is yeah. what we do for fun. And now we do it for fun in a different <laughs> way, right? So That's right. Maybe you can give an overview here of what the circus is like. Okay, so basically in this game, you are the head of, uh, of, um, of acrobats. Yes. So uh, you start with two acrobats, mm -hmm. and uh, the game will have three rounds. So the two first rounds will be rehearsals, and the last one will be the, the big show in front of the audience. Okay. So um, the goal of the game, of course, is to get as many applause as possible. So that's with why applause being points. Yes. That's how that's we score. Applause are yeah. the points. So that's why here you track the points with this uh, applause o meter, mm -hmm. and uh, then. Uh, two acrobats are not obviously enough to do a good show. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the first part of the game is to uh, get more components. Mm -hmm. So, you have a small drafting phase, two rounds, mm -hmm. and you have to take two tiles, one of this type and one of this type. Okay. Those tiles will. For the first act. Yeah, for mm -hmm. the first act. So, right. it will give you more components. So, you have to choose so that you can build something nice which can please uh, the audience. Okay. So, how do you know? if you please the audience or not. So for this, you have a few, uh, a few rules, mm -hmm. but you uh, mostly have these cards here. So you have, uh, uh, at the beginning of the game, you, you randomly choose four cards, mm -hmm. uh, which will give you uh, the audience taste. So which means that if you include those patterns into your uh, act that you are building, you will score more points. You will get more applause from the audience. Yes. Okay. And we're going to make these acts by drafting the pieces yes. with these goals in mind for what we're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first round. Then everybody will build his, his own uh, act mm -hmm. simultaneously. Okay. And the fastest will get some extra points because, you know, the audience doesn't like <laughs> acts that last forever. Right. <laughs> So first, so you might take one of these tiles. Yeah, so uh, for example, I take this tile. Right. Second round, I can start either by I'll, this type I'll of tile or this tile. Yeah. Right. So okay. then second round, I have to take the other type. I haven't taken yet. So it could be this one. And of course, I get the corresponding components. OK. So let's say I'm getting so an elephant. So we have many components. We have horses, elephants, planks, that's balloons. Of course, you have stickers here I don't know, uh, to customize either the meeples we'll talk uh, about a little later, and right. the balloons. Okay. And uh, then uh, once you have your components, you have to build your act. Okay. I mean, we don't have this right now, but there is circus music to accompany... Exactly. This, Instead this of having a uh, hourglass, uh, you have uh, some uh, soundtracks. Okay. So um, Matego has done a small application, but you can also directly play the soundtracks from their website. Okay. So that's um, that play the role of a uh, hourglass to uh, limit uh, the act to uh, two minutes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this while while you're talking. <laughs> All right. Okay. So so we evaluate uh, the acts. So we have three kind of people. The blue ones are beginners, so they have to touch the ground to score one point. The uh, yellow ones are intermediate. So intermediate acrobats uh, must not touch the ground to score one point. Yeah. So very good. <laughs> so your two blue will score uh, one uh, point each, and the uh, yellow will score also one point when applause. That's right. And, then and we... for the red, uh, you will have to use this ruler to check how high it is. And you will score points depending on the height. That's right, for daredevil acrobats. OK. OK, then we go to the second uh, act. That's right. So can, again, these will be cleared so, out. Yes, we remove this, and we have new tiles. So uh, sorry, I don't have them here, the but in the box you have more tiles that you would again right, put yeah. here. Yeah, thanks. Okay. And the second type of tile you will get are guest stars. So this time, in the preparation phase, you will get more components, and you will choose a guest star. Okay. And the guest star, so we have 10 guest stars, so that's uh, specific meeples with again mm -hmm. stickers to customize them. Yeah. And uh, they, uh, they have a specific way to score applause. Okay. So you have to meet these uh, requirements 
to score more points. Okay. So again, we draft more components. You choose, I take one and so on. Let's admit I took uh, this camel. The camel has to be uh, ooh, like this to score, for example. Okay. So that's for the second round. So yeah. still playing simultaneously. Yep. And then we go to the final round, the big show. So for this big show, again, we, uh, we have more tiles. So we'll get two extra components and a challenge. So the last type of tile are challenges. So the challenge are things that you have to do to please the public more. Right. You're, you're plotting. You're yes, for example, here uh, you have a break time, which means during 20 seconds during the act, you have to stop and have a break and uh, uh, simulate you eat a sandwich. For okay. uh, you have uh, sometimes to uh, imitate a drum with two fingers when you put your last component. And then at the end of the show, of course, you have every time at the end of the act, you have to say ta da. Okay. So uh, that's the kind of challenges you have. It can be also uh, more technical uh, challenges, like for example, not using your thumbs. Yes. So you have many, many ways. We have more than 20 uh, challenges. Okay. And of course, people can choose uh, the one they, they would like to do. And each time, of course, we're drafting more components, so we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger yes. as each, we're trying for to For each act, you have a bigger uh, right. act. Okay. So and finish the three rounds and so uh, for the last round each uh, player will present its act in front of the other one ah, okay. so it's different it's a different experience okay this game brings a lot of emotions around the table it's fun okay and, uh, there we go and of course you can imagine this could have any number of expansions for uh, yes yes we have uh, many ideas here. in fact uh, we to uh, for more expansions. All right. Thank you very much, Cedric, for the overview. You're welcome. Circus. Thank you.